Wetlands in India are spread across different types of landscapes, from the mountains to the floodplains to the coastal areas. Some of these wetlands are even inside the protected areas, such as national parks, wildlife, and bird sanctuaries. Some are in urban areas, whereas others are even in the agricultural lands. As per the characteristic of these wetlands, there are different provisions for conservation of these different type of wetlands. Overall, the conservation of wetlands in the country is governed by the Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2017. Under these rules, each state or UT has its own specific state wetland authority with technical and grievance committees. There is also a national wetland committee. In these committees, experts of different backgrounds and officials of different departments work together to manage these wetlands. Apart from the mentioned conventions, wetlands also receive protection from several other acts and regulations, such as Indian Forest Act, 1927, Indian Wildlife Protection Act, 1972, Coastal Regulatory Zone Notification, 2019, Indian Fisheries Act, 1897, the Water Prevention Control of Pollution Act, 1974, the Biological Diversity Act, 2002, amongst others. Do you know which ministry of the government is responsible for taking care of the wetlands? Can you guess? Yes, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change or MOEFCC oversees the conservation of wetlands in India. The ministry has also been implementing a scheme called National Plan for Conservation of Aquatic Ecosystems. In short form, we call it as NPCA, which aims at holistic conservation and restoration of wetlands for achieving the desired water quality enhancement. Besides improvement in biodiversity and ecosystems, however, wetland conservation has also been integrated into the plans, programs, and schemes of various other ministries, such as Jal Shakti, Rural Development, Housing and Urban Affairs. Wetlands conservation dwells on conservation and management actions from stakeholders from diverse strata of the society. There are many individuals and communities in India who lead wetland conservation and management by example. There are many ways in which citizens can engage in wetland conservation and management. For example, do not litter, dump sewage and solid waste into wetlands, prevent others from doing so, be aware of wetlands in your neighborhood and motivate people to care about these ecosystems, generate awareness among people about the functions, services and values of wetlands, organize and participate in community wetland cleanups, launch and participate in various environmental awareness campaigns through workshops, folk dance, street theater, brochures, padiatras, hoardings, so on and so forth. Reduce excessive water consumption and run off by reporting it to the concerned authorities. Participate in the water bird census. Also engage in citizen science initiatives related to wetland, document, traditional wetland management practices and support their integration in management planning. You can also ensure that the wetlands are not encroached and concretized. Engage with local authorities responsible for wetlands on management and monitoring aspects. Participate in discussions to retain and restore wetlands. Not only these, but the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change under its Wetland Conservation Program has stressed on the need to engage the local communities and volunteers from different walks of life 
to participate in the wetland conservation. Along with these, the concept of wetland mitra has also been introduced. A wetland mitra, friend of wetlands, could be local, youth, students, farmers, conservationists, bird watchers, and the local communities. You too can become a mitra by registering on the Wetlands of India portal. This was the last program of the series on wetlands conservation. You have learnt now about various aspects of wetlands, such as what are wetlands, what are their types, definition of wetlands and their types, how wetlands are formed, what are the benefits of wetlands, how wetlands are interconnected in the web of our life and the larger ecosystem. You also learned about the threats that these wetlands face, the ways to conserve them and initiatives taken by the government to protect and conserve wetlands. We hope that you enjoyed the sessions and have become more aware towards wetlands conservation. Thank you.